How are you doing today? Today's video is brought to you by Oxido. Ox by Oxy2. LED headlights for your car. Thanks for sending these out to me, Oxito. And we'll take a look together and see what's what. So these lights here are for my wife's Kia. And they are pretty cool. I'm just trying to get some info here for you, Jim. So these are 6,000K lights. And they're good for 50,000 hours. Operational temperature minus 40 to plus 76, 176. So that's pretty damn good. Upgraded technology in 2022 on these. So they're, they look like they're pretty good compared to some of the lights I've got sent to me in the past. They even come with white gloves to put them in so you don't touch the bulbs. So what that's telling me is we don't want to touch these bulbs. So let's get these gloves on and we'll have a look at them because they're pretty neat looking. I haven't seen a pair of LED bulbs like this in a long time. So check out the ball. It's kind of a unique kind of design bulb it is. It looks like it might have a cooling fan within the internal shell of it. So that means it might last longer. I've been having a heck of a time with the wife's key of getting the right bulbs because the daylight runners come on full blast with the bulbs that are in it. It's no good. So hopefully these ones work better. I can't wait to try them. I will show you what they look like at night. And if you want your set of these bulbs, go to the description down below and click on the old link Roo there and you can get yourself a pair of these you can. And they're not too bad in price either. Check them out. Don't forget to tell them Dirty Old Bills have sent you if you need yourself a pair of headlight bulbs for your vehicle. Winter time's coming. You better get them looked after you better. Thanks Oxy2 for sending them to me. But today's a video, what's going on today is I'm working on AN fittings. Now, if any of you have ever worked on AN fittings, they're kind of a pain in the dick because they're their own thread. There's no thread like them. They're, they're AN fittings stands for Army Navy. We finally found the right size for the fuel filter. So now we can go to a AN6 fuel line which I have ordered. And I also have for the throttle body, two connections coming for that in AN fittings. So we should be able to change out all the AN fittings, which will be nice going directly to the uh, fuel injection on this, this vehicle. I haven't worked on the throttle body yet because I haven't got the parts yet. So just hang tight for that. I'm still painting the underneath of this thing, believe it or not, I'm still under there painting away. So I'm taking my time this year. I'm not like ramrodding through this stuff. I did get in a set of 68 lines for the 700R4 transmission, which we're putting in this, because we're going from the 400 turbo to the 700R4, because she's just a cruiser now. We don't need the heavy duty transmission. And I really like to get four speeds out of this thing, maybe a lockup on it. So we're gonna go with that. But I bought these from Amazon and they're, they're no good. They're too short. I don't know what they're designed for, but they barely make it to the front of the block of the engine. So we need them to go to the radiator. So they're going back too. They were 90 bucks. So I think I might just make up my own lines for the transmission as well. I did order myself today a, a thread chart, if you may. So we'll get that coming in and then we'll be able to see exactly what thread we need. And we can friggin' order the proper goddamn doodad for the whatnot. That's what I say. But I'm just out here getting ready and I had by the 20th to get those lights reviewed and I've been slacking, so I had to get that going. So hopefully uh, hopefully they're happy with that. If they're not, I don't know, I can send them back. Just let me know. But I'm gonna put them in the car and then I'll show you on the next video how bright they are because my wife's at work and I don't feel like doing that right now. But anyways, here's my truck still jacked up, you know, on the jack stands. And I got it all dusty and dirty. As you've seen, I had this all nice and painted, but it got all dusty and dirty from working on the underneath. But now, underneath the frame's done and the firewall's done. Good enough. I'm done with that. Let me tell you what. But I gotta get under the truck. I just picked up another can of paint. And I gotta get under the truck and kill myself with fumes again. Because I gotta get this floor done so I can get the goddamn truck back on the ground. Oh my gosh. But it's coming. See? Look at the look at the look at the hump in there. It looks pretty good. So I still gotta get over there somewhat you can see. And I gotta get up in here and along here and up here and around there and this and that and the other friggin' thing. This job is never ending, let me tell you what. It's crazy. 
I'm tired. I don't want to paint under the truck anymore. The only way to do this properly is to take the cab right off the truck and the box off the truck and do the frame and the cab and then put it all back together. Because this really blows the old dick roo. Doing it this way, I'll tell you. It's pretty bad. Oh, man. What are we gonna do, Captain? So I'm gonna tape this light up and we'll spray in here and spray in here. Give this another little coat. Give that another little coat over there. And then I'll probably drop the thing on the ground and get to the real work here instead of this shit work. I can't spend any more time under this truck. I'm getting too old to roll around. I really am. I really just want to work on the engine. That's where all the fun happens. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Oh yeah, I wanted tape for that, didn't I? Can you see? I can't. I forgot to grind this down too. I should have grind that down. You know what? I'll do it later. I'll do that when I'm on the hoist at work. Because like I said, this is just getting stupid. I don't want to spend months on my back doing this shit. Oh man. My back ain't like it used to, and that's probably one of the reasons why I don't want to spend too long on my back anymore. And if you don't understand that, I don't understand why you don't understand that. How's that? There we go, let's tape that light up. There, now we can't spray paint on that light. Hey, now I can just go stupid with a spray paint. Wouldn't it be nice to have a hoist at home to do this kind of shit? Cause this really sucks. I hate these lids too. I can't get the fucking things off. This paint's $22 a fucking can. That's one way to do it. Come on, fuck. Let's not leave that out there cause I'll end up laying on it. All right, so what I wanna do right now is I wanna spray paint this, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. I didn't have any paint on this part. Very little anyways. So now it's gonna have a good coating on there. Look at the difference. Look at it. Are you watching? Oh, dick. Just breathe in deep. Breathe deep. I gotta turn a fan on. Let's turn that on, crack the door. And then we'll blow it right out the door for me. Sorry about the wind in your ear. Hopefully you don't mind. But I'm sorry, I can't breathe that in. It's gonna kill me. Oh yeah, get up there. Get right in there. Oh, I painted that light. Oops, what did I do that for? About to clean that light off later in life. Ready? Maybe? Hold on. Can't see. Oh, watch my truck, careful. If any of you guys are painting your frame, or your body underneath, you're not doing a, a frame off, like me, I would suggest using flat black. Just saying. It might turn out a little better. It might. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Not too bad. That's looking pretty fucking decent. I didn't get way the fuck over there, though. I didn't even see that from over there. See, that's why you gotta get different angles of the fucking dangles around here. Because you'd miss shit if you don't. Oh, I need more tape. I got another light over here. Well, there's lights everywhere. Put quite a few lights under this truck, eh? They're everywhere, you know? Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm not. Oh, fuck, maybe I am. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at the way this stuff goes on. It goes on so nice, especially upside down like this. Just fucking layer onto it. That fan works really good. Believe it or not. See, right there, I should drop the gas tank and get that. I will, someday, in the next 30 years or so. Hey, can I get in there? Oh, yeah. One more coat in the hull. Holy fucking dick. I was hoping to get one more coat in the firewall of this paint, but I might not, man. She is eating her up in here. Might need another $20 can. Boys. Oh, they make every day. I have to wait for next day. Fucking broke spray paint. How does that even happen? Oh, I didn't mean to grab you. I meant to grab the flashlight. Sorry about that. Oh, well, I grabbed you anyway. How'd that feel? Pretty good. I bet it did. Yep, yeah, not bad. Not too bad. Let's get a little bit more up in here. There we go. 
good. Oh, shit. We need a lot more up in here. Oh, I'm using the wrong paint on that. I want fucking frame paint on there. Oh, well. Whatever. Get rid of the old fucking gold rooski cap. Oh, we need some more around there. In there. Ah, oh, yeah. Up in here. Get it up in there. Let's fucking nail it. Let's let her fucking run. That's the way you do it. You just let her run. Fucking right you do. Here, I'm paint the frame again. Stop doing that with the good paint. Can't help it. It works so good. That's good, that's good. Oh, oh. Camel. That's good. That's good. That's not good. You're not even watching, are you? I don't blame you. That's why I didn't bring a lot for this ride because it's fucking boring as dicks. There's nothing exciting about this at all. What you do? Oh, you know, I painted the floor of my truck for three and a half months and brought my YouTube star people with me and it was so fucking exciting. Just so exciting. Look at it. That's not too bad. And if, if you don't like it, I don't care because that was a pain in the nuts just sanding this part out. I, I fucking can't, I can't do it anymore. Not on my back anyway. I gotta get over here. Careful, oh, that's bang right off my rear quarter panel. Why wouldn't it bang off my rear quarter panel? Oh, I got another light over here I painted. Holy, I missed a whole bunch over here. Where's my tape? See? Look at me. My paint rolled away and everything on me. Oh, God. Why wouldn't it? Don't forget to tape up your undercarriage lights if you're doing this kind of work like I am. Because it's very easy to forget. Just fucking nail it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If my fan's not touched, my fan must not be facing me. Oh, yeah, that looks fucking wonderful. Get right up in there. The more paint, the better. That's what I say. Here, we'll just nail that too, even though that's the wrong paint. What the hell, I'm right here and I can see it, so nail it. Right, Joe. There you go. Just so you know, this paint I'm using is enamel and it's high build again. So it actually works pretty good because when you coat her, she goes on pretty thick. She does. Oh, I see a spot. Oh, I see two spots. If anybody's ever done what I'm doing right now, you understand what happens when you do it like this. You miss all sorts of shit multiple times. So you just gotta keep looking. Just gotta keep looking at it. And if you think you got it, you're wrong, because you didn't, because you didn't look at it enough. Well, I'm gonna go around this light again just because I can, because I'm here. If I can turn myself. Right there, right there. There we go. I build that bitch. You're looking at the ground. What the hell are you looking at the ground for? There's nothing there to see. Oh, that's the drive shaft. Who's that? Me. Hi, you. Door. I'm stuck. Why? I don't know. No. Man, oh man, that looks so good. I love putting paint on. Oh, especially on a spot where you don't really care about too much. You just keep coating her. I'm putting a whole can under here. I don't give a fuck. I'll get another can on payday. They have her in stock, they do. Because it just looks so good when you just nail her nice and thick. Get her right in here. There you go. See, almost forgotten there, see? Just fucking nail it. I can't see what I'm spraying, but... It sounds good. Oh, fuck, I can't, now I can see. There's a lot in here. Oh yeah, fuck boys. That's pretty good. Put a little bit more right here. Get that filled in real good. Don't be afraid to use a paint, Jim. You make her every day. There we go. Let's give her some more right here too. Build that thing right up. Have an eye. Jim. If anybody ever buys this truck for me, I'm telling you right now, they're getting one fuck of a truck there. Cause this thing is fucking mint. Look at that, I thought that was chips and it's just overspray. Holy fuck, speaking of overspray, I'm gonna have this overspray everywhere again this year. I'm gonna have to buff this truck for fucking two weeks. Who's gonna come over and buff the truck for me? Leave comments down below. The one thing I can say about these cans, they spray really good upside down. Not too many spray bombs do that. Who's that? Who's on that? Maybe I am. A little bit. Ooh, bombing. Wow. I have to put some vinyl down here, boys, to stop the old rocks from hitting her. Can you see me? Probably not. Keep the rocks from hitting right behind the tire. Getting a little, little road rashy down here. Well, there we go. All I got left to do now is touch the frame up. Get some shiny black. Ah, 
Ow! Fuck! Which you should have in this bag, actually. And I should probably do that while I'm down here, because that way I can call her a day. Hey, look at that. Just so you know, I'm using Duplicolor. I did have Rust-Oleum. And to tell, tell you the truth, I'm not impressed with the Rust-Oleum. Doesn't seem to coat as good as the, this stuff. So that's just my opinion, of course, nobody else's. So leave a comment down below what paints you guys like the best. Because I always want to know that stuff. Oh, that goes on nice. Wah. Wah. Oh, yeah. I love the smell of this shit, too. It smells fucking awesome. This stuff smells better than the other stuff. Fucking right it does. I gotta go back under again. God damn it. Oh, very well that. Apologize. See how exciting is this video for you guys really? Not at all. Sorry about that. But hey, it is what it is. Can't be exciting all the time. Actually, I think last time you watched me, I was fucking grinding, I think. So actually this is I am getting kinda somewhere on the videos. Alright. Ooh, eh? Holy fucking put too much paint on boys, she's dripping. I'm spray bombing the fucking dicks out of her. Okay, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Let's go this way. Oh, look at that one's ready to drip on me. <laughs> I got so much paint on this, it's smooth. That was not even possible. It don't look too bad. Just fucking let her run. It's like when you undercoat your car. You just want to fucking nail it. I think this is the most paint I've ever put on any vehicle I've ever got in. Can't see, lights in my face. I must have just stopped talking. Cause you can't fucking see nothing. Except for my feet, probably. And I can't reach you right now, so I'm sure to <laughs> I ended up way up in front of the vehicle on you, so I apologize. But anyways, that's what I'm doing. The next video, you'll see this thing sitting on the damn tires. I guarantee friggin' tee it. Because on the weekend, I want to roll her out, and I want to get out the transmission and spray paint it and get it ready to go. Maybe put the stall converter in it and stuff like that, so. Stick around, sorry I haven't had much content lately, but I'm just giving it to you as I find it useful. Because not much is useful right now. So love y'all and wait for the next one.